Hi, welcome back to the Spirit's Path. This is Dee, and today's tarot card of the day out of the Wildwood Tarot deck is the Knight of Stones and the Horse. And, um, you know, I, I want to say your book ended right now with a couple knights here in the last week, but balance is, is there. The uh, Seven of Arrows just fell off. So, um, you know, as I've said before, you got two knights down here, plus one, two, three, four, five, five um, major arcana cards, right? Life lessons cards. So, you know, this is, this is telling me that, you know, there's, there's some questing going on, okay? Especially with the Knight of Arrows, the Hawk's still sitting out there. Um, but, you know, let's, let's talk about the horse. The horse is uh, the Knight of Stones. You know, the knights are fighters, tacticians, as I like to say. Um, you know, they're, they're going on a quest. This is slow-moving energy where the Knight of Arrows is fast-moving energy. Um, it could be somebody that's making an offer to you as well. All right? Um, the horse... When this comes up, is is free to show you the path that you're on, and in the path that you're on right now, is one of a life lesson, you know, of, of finding that balance, of understanding where you are uh, within yourself, within the universe, within the world, however you want to look at it, and um, you know, the life lessons cards are, are really prominent this week and it's just it's it's i can't say it, this enough it's you know take heed to to the messages that are coming through especially for balance because we've seen that you know three times in the last 10 days all right um but let's get back to the knight of stones now if this is somebody in your life okay maybe even you this is someone who, who gets a job done all right you can count on them for completing the project um this is also a person that will stand by you um, if this is an aspect or a characteristic of that person, it's going over details, okay? It's, it's kind of like the process of what, what they're doing, right? And it's also taking pride in your, in your, in your work, right? Um, you know, I remember when I was working, you know, in, in the chemical industry, you know, making, making uh, automotive paint, and it was, it was, you know, they would give you um, information on how to make, make a batch of paint. And, you know, it, I took pride in it every day because I would complete that, we call it, you know, I would complete that task, all right? And some people, you know, they took their time and, you know, they didn't complete it. It didn't, didn't really matter. But, you know, that's kind of taking pride in your work. That's, that's kind of what that horse is standing up for. If this is a, a, an event, this is, a, you know, something that's, you know, you're going to be very persistent at, okay? It could be even uh, happening like in an employment uh, going through um, an interview or anything like that, right? So, um, one of the, you know, two of the questions that the, the horse asks is, where do you need to push through and what is holding you back? All right. And, you know, as we look at the cards that are down there, you know, you've got the sun card. You know, where do you need to push through to have that sun come into your life? You know, the sun's all about vitality and energy and um, just having just having the the warmth and joy radiate radiate through all right and um you know when this came up yesterday i was like you know it was very cold yesterday too and i'm thinking you know where's the sun in, in this situation but you know the sun gives us warmth the sun gives us growth the sun gives us life um you know the sun gives us opportunity to um recharge our batteries okay and sometimes, you know, it's very difficult when it's cloudy and gray and cold and windy and rainy. And you have to ask yourself, where do you need to push through? Okay, sure, the, the sun's out there above the clouds, right? I mean, if anybody ever's ever flown in a plane, once you get above the clouds, the sun is out there and it's bright. Okay, it's the clouds that, that keep everything away. So, you know, in order to have that exuberant attitude, in order to have that joy and that, that uh, electricity flowing through, you have to take on that, that aspect of that energy, of the sun energy. So, that, you know, to push through, you know, you just say, you know what? I'm not going to let the clouds get to me today. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do what I'm going to have to do. And then the hooded man, two days ago, you know, where do you need to push through in looking at your fears and, and doubts? You know, being, you know, introspective, introspective I think that's how he said. You know, where's, where's that, that, that light and that hope? You know, are you thinking, you know, things the way you need to think of, them, right? Are you looking within and saying to yourself, you know, these are areas I need to work on. These are areas I need to, to move forward, right? 
and uh, you know they, they could be in some dark areas of your life that you don't even want to want to look at and you know the horse is the horse is actually going this way it's looking it's looking into the hooded man and the hooded man is, is is looking away so you know where do you need to push through to you know to combat those interferers right where do you need to to combat listening to you know where do you need to push through and listening to your own beat listen to the universal beat of the ancestor okay um you know listen to you know whatever it is your own heartbeat or you know just that uh shaman shamanic totem signal you know that's out there you know just beat dun, 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 you know and you know you've made the commitment to walk through the, those birch trees and move forward and this horse is there to greet you you know, it says, okay, great. You know, where do you need to push through on that? Same thing with balance. Where do you need to push through on a balance? You had that balance of the work. You know, you had the balance of your emotions. And, you know, now this is, you know, bookended around the Knight of Arrows, which is vision and power, right? But, you know, how do you push through that? How do you push through, you know, knowing that you're out of balance, all right? knowing that you've got these life lessons cards ahead of you, you know, push through, persevere, right? With what's going on. You know, the two knights looking at each other and saying, hey, how you doing? You know, yeah, hey, I'm great. You know, just taking my time walking through and, you know, the hawk is looking at the horse saying, yeah, you look beautiful. You know, a little bit too big for me to carry, but that's all right. I'll ride your back one of these days. And, you know, two knights in, in the spread, you know, you've got one of slow moving action, which is the horse, and one of fast moving action, action, which is the hawk. And, you know, they're both, they're both out there to protect you, to fight for you, to help you on your quest, right? Um, you know, there could be some offers along the way, too. And then, you know, that knight of arrows, you know, asks, you know, what do you need to stand up for? So, uh you know, what do you need to push through and what do you need to stand up for as you're moving forward? And then you got balance on the other side of that again. And, you know, you got balance on the other side of the Knight of Arrows. And it's just, you know, to me, that's that's pointing at the Knight of Arrows of, you know, you balance your vision, balance your power, balance what you need to stand up for, balance what um, you need to um, use that air energy of going forward and then the, you know the other question that the horse asks is what's holding you back what's holding you back in using that vision and power okay what's holding you back and in checking your information right what's holding you back in becoming balanced with nature balanced with the universe balanced with the world what's holding you back of totally letting go and listening to that universal beat to walk the spiritual path, to walk the spiritual journey that you're on. What's holding you back from looking at those fears in the hooded man and those doubts, those, those deep-seated fears and doubts? You know, sometimes we have that guardian in us, right? Where we have to, you know, look at that, at that guardian bear and say, you know what, I'm not afraid of you. Sometimes it's daunting. But once you do that, then, you know, then it's almost like, it's like that ray of sunshine, right, in that light. And maybe, you know, and here's something that just came, came to mind, too. Here you got the hooded man holding up the light, and then the sun of light comes up the next day, right? What if, think about this in a metaphysical situation, what if the sun of life is in that ray, in that lantern, Right? What if this is a microcosm of this macro? You know, or vice versa. Maybe the light that's shining in his chest is actually the hooded man's light. It's something to think about, right? Because the sun of life is out there for everybody. Okay, the sun of life is, is, is out there in all aspects. You know, and it's there to energize us. You know, why not use that energy, you know, to go forward? You know, what's holding you back from just opening your arms up and just, you know, fill me up. Fill me up with your radiance. Fill me up with your glory. Fill me up with your, you know, with your, with your nana, whatever, however you want to look at it. 
your solar flares. Just fill me up. Let my let that spiritual light shine through to others. Let that love that you have shine to others. Let that healing energy go out there and heal others. Whether it's parents or siblings or whatever. So, you know, that's, that's kind of what that Son of Life is out there for. I really didn't talk about it too much yesterday, but, you know, that's what's coming through today. And then the horse, you know, shows up. And that horse is going to carry you. It's going to carry you on your path. You know, with all these major arcana cards it's going to carry you forward to help you you know find that balance okay and it's sure-footed it's slow and plotting but that's okay when these life lessons cards are out there you don't want to go quick you want to look at it and say how does this affect me or what are the effects that these cards are having on me and in journal that and just look at it and say okay this is what's going on today so there you have it. That's today's card of the day. The horse, the knight of stones. Hit that like button for me. Share it with others and subscribe to the channel. This is D for Spirits Path, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care. God bless. Stay safe, everybody.